We have been traveling in the bus for like, well, I guess we've been living in it for like eight weeks now, right? Eight weeks. Really? Nine weeks. That's impressive. Something like that. And uh, we haven't shown you guys hardly anything on the inside because we have so much left to finish. And we're going to go ahead and give you guys a tour of what is done and um, our home. Are you being a professional cameraman? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so this is the living room and the travel room. Um, this is um, a kid's table, kid's dining table, um, kid's storage, books, toys, all that stuff. Because we can't live without that stuff. And the couch is where everybody travels at. It has all the seat belts built into it. There's two more over here, but they're not out right now. And then underneath the couch, there's some storage, furnace, boring stuff. So over here, we have the kitchen, which I love. Hey, this is how you do a ceiling fan in a bus. <laughs> That's fancy stuff right there. Um, I love the kitchen. I adore the kitchen. There's plenty of counter space, plenty of cabinet space. The only thing I've ran out of space is the fridge, and that's fine. It's a 10 cubic foot fridge. It's it's really big enough. It's just whenever I'm trying to feed an army that it gets too small. Um, my lovely spice rack, I love it. I can't even fill it. And this is so exciting. In the camper, I had one burner. I had one hot plate, and it was a 900 watt hot plate, so I couldn't even boil water without a lot of effort. But now, I have four burners, which is awesome gas, too, so it's Heat is not a problem, and electricity is not a problem. I can run the stove, I can run four burners, the oven, not affect the electricity at all. And of course, um, it's not a full size, it's um, a 24 inch apartment size, which is more than enough for us. It is so exciting, it even has a broiler drawer. It's like, so freaking exciting. That's probably my favorite thing in the whole bus, because I can cook again. Um, and then our sink, dishes area, um, That's this is, Something I really love about it too, because we have like the dedicated space to have dishes out all the time. But then the really exciting part of the bus, up here, I guess these are popular and I think it's England. Um, up here we have dish drying cabinet. So we don't have to take up all this space with all of our plates and bowls. We just stack them up here. There's a, it's a, um, a closet thingy rack thingy. What are those called? Like the custom, Shelf? you can build a custom closet shelving. It's just one of those from Home Depot cut down. Which is really, really cool. I love that because it just drips down into the sink and on the towels and it's perfectly fine. That's definitely one of my favorite things. Oh, and then I also love um, our trash can. It's hidden away. Which is very, very cool. This trash can was one of the things I couldn't figure out how to make it work in here. Um, we could have put it over here. This is our little um, needs to be fixed table. Um, it stows away and then it opens up to, to fill most of the living room so everybody can eat on it, but it's not very functional. I didn't do a very good job with it and it's too tall. So it'll be uh, modified at some point. Um, over here, we have our little pantry. I need to glue these together so they don't pop apart. But it's pretty nice, holds a lot of stuff. And then back here, it's probably going to get dark and hard to see, is it? No? Not yet. So our shower, it just got painted because the white was collecting every bit of grime possible. So now we have a yellow shower. I like it. And then... I don't think you can see the shower. Okay. Let's see this one. It's a well, here's the poop room. So in the camper, that's how our bathroom was set up. The shower was separate from the toilet and the sink was separate. And we really liked that. Like we did, we had a design that it was all in one. And my daughter said, no, we have to have them separate so that one person can poop and one person can shower and one person can brush their teeth. So I think she was right. It works really well for us. So in here we have our composting toilet and like towel storage. And that's pretty much it. This is our bathroom storage exactly like it was in the camper because it really worked out well for us with the little nets in front. Holds a lot of stuff. Holds everything we need anyways. We have a great big bin for our peat moss that we use in our composting toilet and somehow it still gets used up fast. I'm not really sure how. And then for the door for our bathroom, we debated on a door for a long time and then we ran out of time and I just threw a curtain up with the intentions of doing a door later and honestly I like the curtain. I have no intentions of putting a door up, but I mean, it's, it's real thick material. You get total privacy in there. I think it's great. And it goes back out of the way. 
And over here is our bathroom sink. Love this area too. It's uh, under construction right now because we're trying to get it to drain better because it's kind of funky. But um, it's a pretty tile wall and our mirror that needs to be washed. <clears throat> a lot of storage under there. And then we have our, what would you call that? It's like our control panel. It's water pump, water heater, that stuff is controlled right there. Um, and then our battery information, but that's not accurate at all. So here is me and Jonathan's bed. I don't know how to do this. Can you get it? Yeah. So right here is me and Jonathan's bed. It's actually, so we've always had a king size bed, like always, always. And that was our biggest sacrifice coming to the bus. So now we have less than a full size bed. It's pretty small, but it works. I mean, all we got to do is sleep there, right? And it especially works for Jonathan not having a wall at the foot of the bed so that he can hang off because he's so tall. Um, so yeah, that's our bed. And up here, this is a big unfinished portion. We've got to have doors or curtains or something up there. And the whole bedroom needs painted. There's a lot that needs done in here. These curtains, I don't know if I like those. And they don't function properly. Um, under the bed is basically our electrical everything. The uh, fuse box and the breaker box is under there. And uh, what's that thing called? The charge controller? Charge controller and inverter. And inverter, yeah. All of that stuff's under there. Also, under the bed, we have a dresser, which is really cool. Adds a whole lot of storage. Still needs to be painted, just like everything else. Um, and eventually, hopefully, with any luck, one day right here on the floor, I'm going to have a laundry chute that goes down into the, into the bays under the bus. Because right now we just have a laundry bag that migrates between the shower and the floor, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. And that was the original plan, was to put a laundry chute. So, hopefully. Our closet, it's actually pretty much exactly as big as the closet in the camper was, except we only have one row of hanging. Um, it holds a ton of stuff. That's all we need. Oh. And really important in a bus. Really important. Magnets. They're so important. Like, I can't live without them now. I mean, th that's our ceiling fan hook for back here. Little side table here. Oh, this is really cool. So I'm about to enter the bunk room. And we wanted separation between the bunk room and our room and the rest of the bus. So we made a door. It's on, um, we use drawer glides to hang it, which is, it worked out really, really well. I love it. We don't use it all that often, but it's really nice to have it when we do need it. Also on the back of the closet here, um, we use the Ikea spice racks and I made a little hairbrush rack and then uh, essential oils and various stuff there. One of the most important things when we were laying out our floor plan is I wanted the kids space to be separate and I wanted it to be containing so that it would contain their mess because in the camper, their bunks were there in the living room, so the living room was always covered in toys. Always. I mean, everywhere. It's a mess. So, I wanted the bunk room, preferably in the back, so we did make it work. I, did, I don't like the center floor plans. Uh, the buses that just have one center hallway all the way down, I like more separation than that. Although, I will say there's something to be said for heating and cooling in the center hallway. I think that's a lot easier. So, we did make things more difficult for ourselves. But, so this is our bunk room. We have the four bunks. Um, Sadie and Jackson, and then the bottom two bunks are Jaden and Natalie's, and they actually fold up out of the way when they're not with us to make more floor space for Jackson and Sadie. But they fold up and they hook up out of, out of the way. So that's super handy. We haven't had much chance to use that yet. Back here we have um, the steps basically for the bunks, but they also double as a side table for Jade and Natalie and as a toy box for Jackson and Sadie. So it's a super multi-purpose piece here. Works out really, really well without taking up too much space. Um, the lower two bunks have special lights in them, but you can't see them right now. Oh, and we have a fantastic fan back here. I was very excited about this fantastic fan. I thought that it would help to suck the AC from the front back here it does not it really it helps a little bit it just gets dirty so we are gonna replace this with an AC probably before next summer I think so but I mean it, it also it works really well as white noise for the kids to sleep so that's that's a, a good thing and then right over here is the kids closet which all of this back here still needs painting um, but this worked out really well too and it's easier for the kids to access than it is for me because they're smaller than me but each kid has a shelf um, I stole Jaden's for now because he doesn't need it. And then at the bottom is some more toy space. 
So it works out and it won't open any further than this because I'm not that good at installing closet doors. <laughs> so this is our home and we're pretty proud of it. Oh, uh, under the kitchen sink, we have the hot water heater. And then here in the living room, we have the AC up top. Oh, and I'm not sure if Jonathan showed the TV here. And the guitar and the, our front curtains here. I love our front curtains. We don't get to use them very often, but when we need them, they are great to have because they kind of stop the sun from beating down. The outside of the bus, so um, it hasn't been painted yet, which um, it needs to be painted here in the next two weeks-ish. It's, it's going to have a paint job, whether I like how it turns out or not, because I'm really torn. I have no idea what to do with the outside of it. Too many ideas and not enough time or money. So... Um, on the outside, we have five bays, which is really, really awesome. That's pretty much what sold us on this bus, is so much storage space. Um, so most of it's just storage. The ones on the other side are just pure storage. Um, eventually, this bay right here is going to have the laundry chute, um, and then just like a bin that slides in and out that all the laundry goes down into. Right now it has the air hose and the reel and all sorts of tools, a ridiculous amount of tools. Gonna have to talk Jonathan into downsizing tools at some point. Um, in this bay we have our propane tank. It is a um, 29 gallon um, propane tank. I don't know anything fancy about it other than that. But it's really nice. We haven't had to worry about propane and I don't even think we've gotten it filled all the way yet because they didn't do it right the first time. So I'm sure once winter comes we'll go through a lot more propane but for now with just the stove and the water heater running it is lasting us forever. So that's really really nice. Um, this one we keep all of our like our chairs and the kids toys and stuff like that in this bay. So around back here, um, Jonathan built this rack, which is super handy. So he welded it up and it carries our generator. Our generator never moves. It's bolted down, locked down. The kids bikes, which eventually that'll change. That's just temporary and it works for right now. And then all of our extra gas cans. Um, Two are generator gas and two are extra diesel, which we could probably do without and get more generator gas, which would be nice, but it's also nice to be prepared. And around this side, there's the other two bays there. Nothing too exciting over here. Um, there's our, our city water hookup, our hot water heater, of course. And it needs a bath really bad right now. But I figure since I'm about to paint it, it'll get clean then. I'll worry about it then. So that's it. That's the bus. Let us know if you have any questions or comments, and hopefully we have inspired or amused someone out there. Thanks, guys.